we recording? I think we are recording. Okay, here we are, Bansburg Golf Club. Maintenance blokes around me and everything. Get the hybrid out for this first hole. There's two lads walking up here, so I'm gonna have to just hurry up and get some tees out. Yeah, we're back at Bransworth, just waiting a second, there's all sorts of people waiting here. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going off at my tea time. Right, I'll try my best not to hold you up. <laughs> right, no worries, cheers. <laughs> yeah. So, right, here we go. Hey, God, Bransford Golf Club. So I am where I want to be, to be honest, because I couldn't get into Durham City. Uh, I could have gone to Castle Eden and I just went, no, nah, I, want, I want to change. So here I am at Bransmouth. Here I am at Bransmouth for another exciting round. Um, I went into the pro shop again and uh, there was a different guy this time. And I just went, oh yes, um, I've booked in, name's Hutton, um, 12.30. And he just went, yep. Says, so right, so it's in the system then, yep. <laughs> and he goes, uh, and I goes, uh, so that's it then? Yep, that's it. Um, I take a couple of scorecards, yep. Right. Okay, see you later. <laughs> and that was the conversation. God almighty, I've known out like it. Right, I'm going to have a look to see where my ball's at now, because I don't have a bloody clue. I'm hoping it's somewhere down here. Because I ain't seeing a damn thing at the minute. It says to those lads, sorry, I've, I'll, I'll try not to hold yous up, but already I feel like I'm holding them up. Uh, Where the hell have I hit my golf ball? It's nowhere to be seen, is it? Um, unless I've hit it over here to the left. Now, I'm, 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 I'm going to be further back than this. There I am, there. It's all right, we've got there, it's fine, we've got there. Okay. Hitting off the side of the fairway, so I'm in the rough anyway. It has gone a little bit left than I would have liked it to, so we've got 91 yards. It's gonna be a 56, I'm just gonna go straight at the pin. I don't know if you're gonna see it well from here, but those two look ball. I wanna get a little bit of pace ahead of me before, uh, you know, before I settle down here for these lads, okay, 91. Oh, I've 
chunked it a bit. Yeah, it's off to the side there. It's not marvellous, it's not brilliant, but uh, it's not going to wreck my score, score from there to start off with. So yeah, it actually went further left than I thought that. I thought, oh, I've hit it all right. I mean, I'm still fading. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I just, I've tried with a more rounded swing and it's not seemed to be working. But um, no, it's all right. We'll work on it as, as we go throughout the round. I'll, I'll work on it. It's okay. It's all right. Now it's going to be the bother. Uh, I'm just going to get out and enjoy it. And this is going to be an official round for us. Bransmouth because the course sets up nice for us so we'll just see what we'll do from here now my ball is in the bunker oh it's in the bunker okay I'll bring my trolley around here I'll try and do it so you see it's in the bunker but uh, it's, it's going to be quite difficult I think uh, bring it back round over here because Yeah, I'm in that bunker over there at the front. Um, so I'm going to take me 58 and me putter. And we just hope from there I can get out. And uh, we'll see, we'll see. Really don't want to hold up that two ball. I really don't want to hold that two ball. I mean, I, I just about teed off and they were up my back, so. But I've got off my tee time. Yeah, 12.36, so I've got off my tea time, I'm fine, I've done it out wrong. I'm in a foot mark here, which isn't great, but here we go, third shot, out the bunker. Just blast it out, John, come on. Oh. Well, it's not ideal, is it, but I'm out. It's not ideal here at Bransmouth, but I'm out. <sighs> sorry if you're not seeing this, but this is my third shot now. Uh, f um, sorry, this is my fourth, this is for par. Bit of right to left, a big right to left. I haven't gave it enough. I have not gave it enough. I thought it was going to be quicker than it was. Anyway, this for a five. Come on, John. You can do this. Oh. Well, that's a very nervous start from me. It's a six. It's a very, very nervous start from me on this short par four. Not the start that I wanted, girlfriends. Definitely not the start that I wanted. A nervous six. A very, very nervous six. Okay. We're going on to the second, which is this tough par three that we know about. A nervous six, that mine. That was a very, very nervous six to start off with. Um, and that wasn't good. That wasn't good by me. What does this say? Hole closed. Hole closed. It is an all, you know. There's no flag stick in it. Right. <clears throat> well, I'm just going to have to play a par three twice to make up for us. That's um, that's not on that. They didn't they didn't tell us about that. Hole closed. Why? What, what's wrong with it? Hole closed. I find that incredible. What's actually wrong with this hole to be, for it to be shut? Right, well that's put me on a right down straight away. Hole closed. 
Maybe that's why it was 20 quid instead of 23, I don't know. But easy down the valley, easy down the valley, easy, easy. But yeah, that's us put a right downer on the round straight away. Um, if, right, if I come across a par three twice, I'm gonna do it twice, okay? I'm gonna try and make up for it. I want this to be a proper round, I'm not, uh, I'm not having this. I'll skip over at some point and try and do two of the par threes together or something like that. I'm not, uh, I'm not settling for that. I want it to be a proper round. I want a proper 18 holes. It's important this for my handicap. What's wrong with that hole? There's no wrong with it. There is absolutely no wrong with that hole. The green's in good condition. What's wrong with it? Why isn't it open? Hey, lad, you know what I mean. I don't like this in golf now. I, d I don't like this in golf. I think it's bloody disgusting. I'm not telling you that holes are shut. Unless, of course, they've got a winter, a winter, a winter hole, in which case I'll keep my gob shut. But that isn't on that. Right. Okay. Third hole. Whew. Right, drive's gonna have to come out. No, I didn't like that. This screw's loose again. I did not like that. Not telling us that the hole was shut. If they said at the counter, by the way, the 17th is uh, is shut. The the second shut. I wouldn't have minded, but that bloke. At the counter, Baldy there. Sorry again if I fell with anyone from the ball community. I I didn't mean that. I apologise to anyone who's bald. Blah 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 blah. He said absolutely no. He just let us. Uh, This isn't tightening, there's too much muck in it. Come on, tighten. He, he, all he did was, yeah, 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 that's it. He could have said, oh, by the way, uh, unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, the second hole is shut. But he said, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm starting, I'm starting to bloody get a bad downer on modern golf clubs now, mind. They don't tell you, it, 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 it's gone way back in the old days. You have to explain the terms and conditions to you before you go out and play. He should have said, that hole's shut. And I would have accepted it, fine, gracious, graciously. I mean, I'm going to keep my gob shut, they might have a winter hole here, but... Of what I've seen, I don't think they are. I don't know where the space is. They might have a winter hole. They might. So I'll keep my gob shut. Right. I'm way back for the camera work here. I don't know if you're going to actually see us. But uh, I'll bring it forward. A six wasn't a good start. There, mind. Wasn't a good start. Here we go then. Driver. No, these golf clubs are going to have to change the ways. They kind of just fob you off like that. Hole, hole, uh, closed. <sighs> Here we go, driver. Hit it on the up, John. Yeah, good. Very nice, clean strike. Very good clean strike, I like that. Again, I'm not getting the height like I did with that Alpha driver, but that was a nice clean strike. No, I just, I, I don't, 
I don't like them hiding things like that. You know, I went to Woodhorn, at least at Woodhorn, they says, oh, well, we've, we've got holes shut. Uh, and again at Ravensworth, I went to Ravensworth. They just went, uh, the woman at the bar went, I says, I want a round of golf. Right, that'll cost you 20 quid, mind. All oh, right, okay, that's fine. And that aggressive, bloody tone that I didn't like. Didn't tell us about half the course, by the way, is uh, winter greens. Same there. And when people do that to you, you know, all you're going to do is you're not going to come back. You're not going to come back. It's just, it's just common sense, isn't it? You're just not going to come back to play the course. They've told me that it's too late by the time I get the whole oh, holes closed. But if I get the chance, I might play another hole twice. I might skip over and play another hole twice. A little par three or something like that. I might, I might do it again. I'll have a look at the scorecard and have a look at the map on the course and see if I can skip over at any point. But that was a good drive. That was a bloody good drive by me. Off on the right side, aiming for this big tree trunk over here, so it should be all right. But uh, no, I'm going to enjoy this. This is, this is Brownsworth Castle. It's a nice experience. It's a nice course. A little bit bumpy, some of the fairways, but it's a nice course. Uh, so no, I'm going to enjoy this experience. I'm not going to yell and shout. This is a unique golf experience, but I think I'm going to enjoy this unique golf experience a little bit more than uh, than Ravensworth. My God, what what experience that is! It's uh, definitely unique. Put it that way. Definitely a unique experience. There's my ball. Whoa, what a good drive that was! It's definitely a a unique golf experience, Ravensworth. I think the best word to describe it is urban golf. That's the only polite way I can put it. It's, it's urban golf. But to be fair, after the fourth hole and everything, I wasn't really held up and there wasn't any dodgy activity going on. But before that, those blokes just, <laughs> just, just in the middle of the fairway having a chat and a smoke, I just thought, what the bloody hell is going on here? And there was a queue, I don't know if you saw it on the camera. Um, you might have seen it on the camera. I haven't seen it myself. I've looked at all the footage, but, uh, there was a group of about nine golfers waiting on the tee box because, because, because there was two blokes standing in the middle of the fairway having a smoke. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> having a chat and a smoke, just like as if it's just accepted. But uh, no, never mind. 154 from there, I'm talking probably at eight iron, I would reckon. Yeah, I've had a good drive there. Bloody hell, I've hit that about 270 because it was 400, it was past 420 yards. Um, this is what I mean with this, with this epic driver. If I hit it well, it goes like a bullet, absolute tracer bullet. When I hit it well, that's, that's over 270 yard drive. Wow. It's like a 275 yard drive in the winter. Wow. Okay. This is what I mean. If I hit it well with that epic, the one in 10 that I hit right out the screws, my God, does it go. I haven't seen the ball. Oh, there it is. Left side of the pin. It's all right. It's actually okay. It's left side of the pin. <laughs> yeah, but Ravensworth, man. I mean, this was 20 quid. You kind of compare this. This was 20 pound a day on, on the golf app. 20 quid. You can't compare this for 20 quid compared to Ravensworth. You just, you just kind of do it. Even if there is a hole shut off, I'm not bothered. You can't compare this. 20 quid to Ravens with 20 quid. Oh, I've hit, I've, hit off, I've hit off the middle of the fairway. I'm going to get told off by the groundskeeper here. I know what I've done. I've done something wrong. I'm meant to be hitting off the side of the fairway. But never mind, never mind. I'll not do it again. He won't know. He won't know. He's not going to tell us off. In fact, I don't even think he's seen the shot. Yeah, I've got, to keep, I've got to keep off on the fairways. You see, again, he didn't even tell me that. But I know because on the golf app said it, it said, please keep, keep, please keep to the side of the fairways when playing, when playing shots. But uh, 
like I say, I've been here before, you know, and they don't follow the letter to the law. They don't, uh, they don't do it. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that from now on. I've, I've totally forgot about that rule because I've been so annoyed at that hole being shut off. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll stay out his way because he looks pretty busy with that blower. La -da 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 -da. I tell you what, these winter wheels are, are digging in mine. They're digging into the grass, but I'm allowed them, so. Right, it would be nice to finish up here with a par, wouldn't it? Just to the back of the green there. Here we go. I don't know if you he can hear us, but he's pretty loud with that blower. Steady. Well, it was a tricky putt, that second one. That last, that second putt was tricky. Left to right and down the slope, but it just trickled over to the right. Very disappointing without a three putt five. I, I should have got a par there. I really should have got a par there. I, I, I played that hole really well. Fairway regulation, green and fit regulation, but a three putt is... Um, So I'm a little bit annoyed at that. This is the long par three. I'm just going to put it in case he decides to tell us off that maintenance bloke. We're going up on the tee box. I don't want to be told off. Um, par the third, the fourth, par four. 295 yards. That, is that golfers down there? Yeah, it's a two ball. It's a two ball. So six and a five to start off with, not brilliant, plus three through two, but I will keep grafting, you know me, I'm going to keep working. I'm not going to pack in, I'm not that sort of golfer. I'll just keep at it and keep at it and keep at it until I finish the round. That's another good strike. Yeah, I'll take that. 
We'll take that. You know, I've hit two spanker of a drives there. You know what it could be? It could just be the winter mat. It, 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 might, it might just be a simple case of the winter mats do, do something to my subconscious and make me hit, it, hit rubbish, low, crappy shots. I just don't know. I do not know. But uh, it, might, it might be my subconscious, you know, that does it. It might well be my subconscious because uh, I've hit two spanking drives there. Real spankers that have come off the screws. It's weird how one day you wake up, and I've changed nothing by the way, I've, I've changed nothing with me swing or out like that. It's amazing how one day you wake up and you can't hit a, a cow's backside with a shovel with your driver and then the next day I've woken up and, I'm, and I'm, I've blitzed two straight down the middle of the fairway. It's, it's incredible really. It's, it's a mystery to me but yeah I'm just holding on to the trolley for this bit because these are bumpy fairways but uh, Aye. This is more my golf course. This is more set up for me. It's more. It's not a modern course. It's a, it's it's a it's a beautiful, mature, old course. It's uh, it's obviously Parkland, but it's nice and cut off. It's nice and quiet. It's not busy. It's not crowded. Okay, there's, the fairways are a little bit bumpy on some holes, but there's nothing I can do about that. But uh, it's just a beautiful, mature course. These are the, this is the sort of courses I like, and it's also a challenge, it's a bloody challenge. It's not just mature and nice and everything, it's a bloody challenge this um, Bransmouth. It's a real challenge, like I say, I did the last video here, and my school teacher who I played with, he said 15 years ago at the time, my old school teacher, as we bore right down left fairway, perfect. And he said, um, this is, rated at that time remember this is 15 years ago i don't know like what it's rated like now at that time it was rated the hardest course in the northeast so this is 15 years ago this was rated the hardest course in the northeast obviously you've got slaley now and you've got close house and you've got um rockcliffe hall down near darlington obviously they're going to come into the mix but um at that particular time I don't think Rockcliffe Hall was about. I don't even think Winyard was about then. Winyard wasn't built until 1990. I think it was, no, it wasn't. It was about 2003, wasn't it? When, I had it, when it was fully opened. 129. Right, I'm just going to go off to the side here. You have to hit off the side of the fairway, so that's what I'm going to do. It's all right, it's just over here. There's divots everywhere on this course, you know. They're not, they don't follow the letter to the law here. There's, look at all the, I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but look at all these divots. Look at them all. One there, one there, one there, one there, one up there. I don't know if you can actually see them. I've probably not put the camera in the right place. But the, 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 look at all these divots here. The, the members are not following this rule of the letter of the law, let me tell you. I'm a visitor, so I'm going to try and keep as close as I can to the letter of the law, but they're just not... Um, they're not following the letter of the law, I'm telling you here. They've just said, bugger it, we're going to hit off the fairways if we want to hit off the bloody fairways, the front of the middle of the fairways. So good on them. And you know, 120 yards. And you know, well, when, when you're paying, that reckon's 129, so it must be at the front. When you're paying the membership fee at Brownsmith Castle, I think this is near a thousand pound. I don't know for certain, mind, but I think this is a thousand pound. And when you, you're paying a thousand pound, I think you're perfectly entitled in the winter to hit off, hit off the, the middle of the fairway. You know, I'm not, um, I'm not for this. Oh, you've got to follow the rules strictly now because they, look what they've done to me. They haven't followed the rules strictly, have they? They've, they've said, all um, oh, the 17 tee boxes um, shut today and I didn't even know about it. Right, 120 yards, here we go. Going straight at the pin. Good clean strike. Just have to see when I get there. I 
And again, I, I could just, basically the pro didn't tell us that you've got to hit, hit on the side of the fairway. So basically I could have just got on the course there. If I didn't know about that on the golf app, I would have just been hitting it off the bloody, uh, off the fairway if I didn't know that. And then the groundskeepers might tell us off and then I'm just like, well, hold on a minute. Nobody told me this, or oh, get off the course, lad. You know what I mean? It's just not on. You're supposed to tell people the rules and regulations before you go on the course. Hey, <sighs> God, but it's okay. You never know, I, I might be going over the top here. They might have a winter hole. They may have a winter hole. And I might be going a little bit over the top. But I've got a horrible, sneaky suspicion that they won't. Is that me on the left-hand side of the green there? I think so. I think so. I think that's me on the the left-hand side of the green, it's a long putt again, which I could have done without, to be honest. But uh, at least I'm on, at least I'm on the putting surface. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the putting surface. I'm just a long, well, I'm just, just, just on the fringe, actually. I think I'm just on the fringe. I've got a long, long putt coming up, which I could have done without, to be honest. But uh, yeah. It was a good clean strike, I just think the wind's picked it up a little bit. Right, I'm blocked off here. In fact, I'll bring it a little bit closer for you. It's close. Like I say, it's a posh club brand, but I don't want to get told off. There we go. Okay, hopefully you've got everything on there. Let me turn it a little bit more. Yeah, hopefully you've got everything on that. And um, here we go then. Got this for birdie, but by no means is it easy. Absolutely miles away. Yeah, I'm just on the fringe here. Am I touching the fringe or am I touching the rough or? No, I think that can be classified as, uh, oh, it's come off again, this little mic. Is that technically a green and regulation? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know the rules for that. Is the fringe of the green technically a green and regulation? I just don't know. I'll have to check that out. That's one rule I don't know. Here we go up the bank, left to right. Long way up the bank. It's gone nowhere. It's gone absolutely, it, it didn't break an inch. And I've left myself now with another tricky putt. Oh, lad. Yes, get in there. Whoa. Get in, you little dancer. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yes. Whew. That settled the nerves, definitely. That settled the nerves, definitely. <sighs> chuffed with that, chuffed with a paw. Well done. Very well earned, John. And I think this is the par three I'm coming up to now. But that was very, very, very well earned. Well done. Very well earned. Now, what does this say? Please do not drive from the tee, this tee until the 13th is clear. Well, what's the 13th? That's a yellow. What holds the 13th? Is that the 13th there? Yeah, it must be. It must be. 206 from here. Wins in my face. It's going to have to be a hybrid. It's going to have to be before hybrid. I've got no other option here. It's this long, long, long par three. I wonder 
wonder what hole that is. I wonder what hole that is. I wonder if I could play that hole over on the right hand side of me and then skip back, play this one and then continue on from around there. I might just do that actually. I might just do that. Right, I'm just going to tee it from here because there is tees here. So hopefully I'm on camera. What, what hole's the 13th? I don't know. Anyway, which way's the wind going? Pretty still here. It's going behind us, definitely. Here we go then. 204 yards, par three. Down a little bit further, I think. I think, I think it's clipped one of those trees and it might have took the power off it again. I think we're looking at the pitch again. It's not the end of the world. I think we're looking at the pitch again. I mean, this is a tough par four for any amateur. From on the winter tees was 204 yards. I've took it back a bit from here. It's 209 yards from here. I mean, it's, 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 it's a tough, tough ask this for uh, for any amateur, I've had to a hybrid there, and I think I've clipped the trees on the, uh, the right hand side, and I think it's going to take the power off it. I think I'll find the ball, I just think that the trees will have knocked all the power off the shot. And it's, it's tight and it's not, it's a hard, hard, hard par three, just put it that way. Very, very difficult par three. This has had PGA um, qualifiers and everything, this, the like professionals and everything like that come and play here and everything, all the, the PGA professionals in the country come and play this course and everything. So it ain't easy, let me tell you, it is not easy. Uh, and what did I shoot the last round, 80, 82 or something at Bransmouth? 82, 83, something like that, I don't know how I did it. But by God, I'm gonna to try today to do it. My God, I'm gonna try my damn best today to do it. Uh, that par is what I needed, to be honest, just to get me going. Right, it's over here somewhere. It's hit off this tree somewhere here. I'm going to have to have a good damn scout for it. I didn't think it was lost, that's one thing I didn't think. Oh, here I am over here. Yeah. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought, really. I might be blocked out by that tree there. I don't like that tree being there. But we'll have a look. I'm going to turn around. Yeah, I am blocked off. Christ, I am blocked off. Okay. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I really don't know what I'm going to do here, to be honest. Uh, I'm not pitching it out off to the left, I'm not doing that, I'm going for the flag. But how the hell am I going to get it over that bunker? I have to take an eight and try and hit it as hard as I can to get it over the lip of the bunker. I'm not, I'm not going to get the height with it, I just, there's no other shot available. Alright, how are you then John? Oh, I've overhit it. I've well overhit it. Okay, it's way off to the back there. It's way off to the back. Um, it's going to be another pitch onto the green, but uh, there's nothing else I could have done with that shot. That's, that's actually the best that, that I could have done in that situation. I really don't think I could have done anything else. What I've tried to do, I'll be honest with you, is what I've tried to do is whack it into that bang in the bunker, make it shoot up and go onto the green, and, and I just missed it. But that was my only option. I had no other option on that shot. Um, I had absolutely nothing in my favour there. Absolutely nothing. 
But uh, I'm going to get up here and get it in position for you. Um, up. It's the best I'm going to do, I'm afraid. Best I can get there. Just outside of the white markings for ground under repair. Um, yeah. Hopefully you'll see everything there. But um, I might go with the hybrid and I might take the 56 hybrid put there. Where's be 56 at? 52, I think that's be 56 there. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't actually do much else with that. I really couldn't, apart from whack it off the bank and it'll scoot up and it would take the pace off us, but that's the side you want to be. That's the side you want to be, John, the left-hand side. You don't want to be on the, uh, the right-hand side. Let's have a look. Is it a pitch or is it a hybrid? I'll try a hybrid. Yeah, the left-hand side and this hole is where you want to be, not the right. I've learned that now. You want to be on the left-hand side, it's open. The right-hand side, the trees are blocking you. Come round. Please come round. Oh. Well, didn't give it enough. Did not give it enough. Damn it. I would love to put this in for a four, but I think I'm looking at a five here. Well, friends, I'll try my damn best for you left to right. But uh, I don't actually think I've played this hole badly. I just think I've been unfortunate that I've hit the tree over there. Got in my way and it's knocked it off to the left and uh, I've ended up in that position. So, here we go, left to right. Now. No. no. Six. Unbelievably, that's a six. And I've made a right pig's ear of that. Oh, lad. A six? You bugger me. I don't actually think I've played that hole that badly, you know, apart from that three putt, which was just me being dizzy and stuff. I don't actually think I've played it that badly. I just think I've, I've, I've played decent golf there. I've just whacked off the tree and it, it took us way off to the left. Um, and I've been stuck behind a tree and my second shot was to there, chip, three, four. No, I shouldn't have took a five there. I, sh I shouldn't have took a six there. Sorry, a five is acceptable, but not a six. It's the short putts today that's letting me down again. One facet of my game's come back, me driving, and now my putting's letting us down. Yeah, I wonder what that hole is over there. Um, if that's the case, I can cut across, play that hole again, and then continue me round on. But I might, I might get held up with that two ball if I do that. But that is a possibility, that is a possibility. There's a hole just opposite it. Oh, there's a flag stick just there. That will walk across and do that one again. They're big possibilities to get a full round in. Anyway, where's my scorecard? I better put these scores in just in case the footage goes kaput. I'm not still recording, aren't I? All right. Um, so the first hole was a six, wasn't it? Three's blank. The next one was, was it five? And then four, and that par three was a six. Par five, 550 yards, okay. Oh, this is the winter scorecard. Two, 12A, 12, 12B. 
So you never know that the mite, they've actually got two sections there. We've got 12A, 12B, 2A, 2B. So the mite, they might have a winter hole added on. They might have a couple of winter holes added on here, I just don't know. But as of yet, I've not come across them. But uh, they may have, they may have. So I might just, I might have made a big boo-boo here in that um, I think there's only 16 holes open, but if they've got winter holes, fair enough, fair enough. Right. Here we go then the par five. I'd like to get a good boom and drive down there. I need something to, to give here because I haven't, I didn't play that hole bad apart from the three putt. I didn't do anything wrong there apart from that last putt. I tried my damn best to be honest. Here we go then. Oh, well, it's a bit of a low runner, that. That's awful. It's down where the right trees are. Yeah, that was a bad drive. And I just, I just felt lazy on the swing there. I felt really lazy, like I had no power in it. I felt like there was absolutely no power there. But, uh, right. Horrible drive, to be honest. Horrible drive. After hitting two spankers, that was, um, yeah, I, I've got to be honest, I felt very, very lazy on that shot. I felt like I had no strength. That's what it felt like. It felt like there was no strength, nothing in the, nothing in the tank. I hope I'm not struggling already after a few holes. Because I, I just won't have it. I won't have it that I'm struggling after a few holes. Otherwise, this is going to be a round from hell if I'm struggling like that. Okay. It's all right, it's a par five, so you've still got a chance. Um, but it's a long way, 550 yards. I would have liked to have gotten a good drive away, but not to be. It's up over here where the trees are. Never mind, a good hybrid, and a decent third shot, and you might be up on there. Not an easy course, Bransworth, I can see it there. I'm going to keep saying it throughout the round, this is not an easy course and you've got to play damn well on this course to, uh, to come out of it on top. You've got to play damn well. Right. Oh Christ, that's got to be, thank God for the placing rules. Because by God, what a state that is, <laughs> where I'm at. Right. 377 yards, oh my God, I'm a long way. Right. Yeah, miles back. Absolutely miles back. Right, 300, 380 from there. No other option, then I've got to get it down there. And even so, I'm going to leave myself 200 yards with this if I hit it well. Here we go then. Hit it well. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's left side of the fairway. Couldn't have struck that any better. Couldn't have struck it any better. Well done, John. Brilliant. Just a slight fade. That's, that's, that's the old hybrid. That's the old hybrid. That's what gets me into positions that uh, help me attack the green on par fives, definitely. But uh, even so, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be about 180, 190 yards here, I'm telling you, I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to be close to the green. I'm just going to get off this bumpy bit and try and get back onto the fairway. And there we go. Yeah, I'm telling you now, I'm not going to be attacking the pin from, well, I will be going for the pin, don't get us wrong, but I'm not going to be putting it within two foot if I'm going to be 200 yards away from it. See where we get there, we'll see where we get there. It's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be a short distance, I know that, I know that. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is a beautiful, beautiful, quiet course. Even when there's people on the course, it's quiet. This is 20 quid. 
and Ravensworth is 20 quid. What a difference, what a difference in quality. What a difference in quality, I mean. I don't know, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's a quality urban golf course. I, I don't know, maybe that's what you expect out of an urban golf course. I don't know. Having to uh, desperately find your ball when you hit the marker slightly to the right. Having to walk through big bolted gates under graffiti tunnels, have a dog, a rockweiler bark at you. <laughs> I have two blokes in the middle of the fairway, smoking wacky backy. <laughs> on, the thir on the 13th there, well, you're teeing off on the 13th with five surrounded by five vodka bottles. Maybe that's the urban golf experience. Maybe I'm just not getting it. Maybe that's the urban golf experience that people want. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it certainly wasn't my cup of tea, put it that way. Uh, 193 from there, exactly. It's going to be a five iron, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm going to have to take this off to the side of the uh, the fairway. Unfortunately, we'll just put it up here, I think. Look at the divots here, man. I mean, look, look at the divots. There's one there. I don't know if you're seeing that. There's a few over there. I don't know if you're seeing them. There's a one up there, there's a one there, there's a one there. There's a one directly up your feet. The members are just not following this, this is letter by, uh, by the law, are they? There's another one there. They're just all hitting it, they're just all hitting it where they feel like hitting it. Why the hell am I the mug who's following the rules? Never mind, where are we at here? 192. Yeah, it's going to be a five iron. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I'm the only mug following the rules here. Right. Five, five iron. There's the flag. Okay, here we go then. Oh, I've completely and utterly healed it. Damn it! Ah, that's frustrating me. That, my God, that's frustrating me. That, I healed it. I completely healed it, and it's gone about eight yards down the fairway. I didn't need that. I needed a good, solid strike five iron. That's what I needed. I've made this hole very, very tough for me now. I'm going to get on in four, and I've got to put this fairly stiff. Ah. ah, I'm annoyed at myself for that. I'm annoyed at myself for that, but come on, John, you can still recover from here. It's all right, don't get too mad. Don't get too mad. It's okay. Difficult par five, if you don't get a good drive away, put it that way. And it's wet here. I'll have to knock it back. It is wet and damp. <sighs> yeah. There's nowhere dry here. Right, I'm going to put it in the middle of the fairway. I've got half a chance from there. I've got half a chance from there. Hundred and one. Why have I put, put my putter out? To be range finder, I'm wanting not my putter. Right, let's have a look. That reckon's 96 from there. So I reckon I'm about 92. 92-ish. Gotta go for a little punch in, I think. I'm not gonna risk, I'm not gonna risk the 56. It's 
It's miles short. It is absolutely miles short. Miles short, golf friends. This has been a slog of a par five. You know, I hit a bloody good hybrid. That's the only good thing about this hole that I've done. It's the only good thing I've done here. That's four I've had. Four shots. Oh. If I come out of this with a seven, I'm just going to be absolutely fuming. I am going to be fuming. Okay. It's winter golf, it is tough, it's not easy. Got the 56 and get it up there. harder than what I wanted but it's there and uh, this is looking desperate now for six it shouldn't be it shouldn't be but it is wonder if that's on camera yeah it's getting a bit desperate now golf friends getting a bit desperate okay slightly right to left I think track you downhill got to be careful here Go on, go on, go on. Oh. Well, it's a nasty seven. And I actually don't think, well, I don't know, I had a bad drive. I thought the hybrid might have pulled me out of it there, but, ah, never mind, never mind. Something will give soon, something will give soon, don't worry. I think in the winter I, I shouldn't be too bothered about my handicap, but I am. I, I, I don't want my handicap to go up. I really don't want it to go up. Right, well, how far is this in? Two put. 361. Ah, right, I remember this one. I remember this one slightly. Um, was I teeing off from there the last time? Yeah, I'm teeing off at a different angle, I think, from here. But, uh, okay. Righty ho. Driver out. Ah, oh, it's a shame, that. It's a good par five, that. I like that par five. 550 yards is actually quite a long way off the winter tees, isn't it? I think in the winter, if it's 500, it's fair enough. But you do, it is asking a lot, actually, actually 550 in the winter of you. Right. 364 yards. That's the flag in the distance. I want to be aiming roughly where those right trees are and it'll come back round for us. Here we go. Make sure you've got energy behind the shot this time, John. Good hard swing. Come on. Well, I've hit it well, but it's it's up where those trees are, unfortunately. I hit it well, it's just up where those trees are. And uh, I'll go around this way. Yep. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's gone up where those trees are, so I might be blocked out from my second shot. I didn't particularly like that one. Good strike, just uh, off to the right. It didn't come back round for us, so like sometimes it does. So. Yeah, this is the seventh, which is actually the sixth. So what I'll do is, after this hole, I'll stop the recording. So technically, we've done six holes. And I just hope somewhere along the lines, I can play a hole again. I don't, I don't really want to be skipping onto different holes and then blocking that two ball, though. That's the only thing. You kind of call it an official round if you've only had 17 holes, I'm sorry. But you, you, you can't, unfortunately. And I'm not just going to fill in and say, oh, I've got a plus one on, say I've got a four on the 18th, because I haven't actually played it, so you can't do that. But uh, I'm up here where the trees are on the right. It is a tight driving hole, this, I knew that, but 364 yards, so I'm going to have to hit a good drive up here. Ah, here it is, here it is. Just past the tree, I might. I might, I might have just caught a break. No, I haven't, no, I haven't. I thought for a second I might have caught a break, but I think I'm going to be blocked off again. Yeah, yeah, I'm blocked off. I'm going to have to do a Phil Mickelson. Draw around. Right, what do we got? We have... 174 from there. It seems a long way, that 174. Are you sure about that? Oh, is it, a it doesn't seem that far away. Oh, it does now, it does now. Two hundred and three point two yards. No, 185. Okay, that sounds better. Okay, it's gonna to have to be a hybrid round then. No other option, hybrid out. Punching it and stinging it down. Four hybrid, here we go. Branches and leaves everywhere, but you expect that in winter, to be honest. Right, here we go. Punching it all the way around. The tree's not interfering, is it? No, nah, okay. How are you, John? Let's have a fill. Let's have a good old Phil Mickelson shot. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, it's hit the tree. Oh, it's hit the tree. Oh, I thought I did it there. Oh, that could be anywhere. It's whacked off the tree. It's whacked off. I've missed that tree there. I didn't realise there was a tree beyond that and it's hit that. Oh, I thought I cracked it there. I thought I absolutely cracked it. Never mind. Oh, that was a good attempt, mind. My God, that was a good attempt. I just, we ball could be anywhere now. After whacking off the tree, it could be anywhere. Might be a lost ball even. Because once it's hit a tree, I just don't know. Me, me, me thing of where the, what you see, this tree here, I missed that. I think it's hit the tree beyond this and one. Uh, ah, damn it. It could be anywhere, my golf ball. It could be anywhere. It's whacked off that tree. It could be absolutely anywhere. Or oh, is that it up there? Oh, I think that's it. I think I'm all right, actually. I think I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm fine. I'm in the middle of the fairway, believe it or not. Yeah, just short of this bunker. Nearly pulled it off. By God, I nearly pulled it off. Cooled round nicely. It was just the second tree there that it hit. What have I got here? Fifty-six yards. Yeah, okay, fifty-eight will do. Try and attack it. 
No, 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 I'm going to go 56. I'm going to go the sensible play. I'm going to go 56 in winter. Don't take the high tariff shots in winter, John. It's not worth it. 56, here we go. Just a pitch up then. Yeah, good. Just where I wanted off the bank. Oh, it hasn't run. But it's all right. It doesn't necessarily have to run. I've got a chance there for par. From a tough position, to be honest, from a tough position. And I could have, I could have been a miracle shot that. It almost was a Phil Mickelson, but it just whacked off the tree. Right. Well, from this position, it shouldn't be a disaster. Just on the front of the green there. Oh, it's a long putt again. John, you're going to have to stop with these long putts. This is what's doing you in, the long putts. Just on the front of the green, I thought I hit it better than that, that pitch shot. But, uh, okay. Just got to accept it, I think. Right. I think this is right to left. It's a hell of a long putt, this. Hell of a long putt. You can hardly see where the hole is. That's good from there, mind. That's good from there. That's good distance control, that. Yeah, good. Well done. Well done. It's a five, so it's not really well done, but from where I was, that's well done. From where I was, that's well done to get out of that. And this is the hole I did in my Houdini trick the last time, wasn't it? But uh, not to beat a day, I'm thinking now, I think we'll go over here, don't we? Yeah. There's a bloke there, got an electric trolley, so I'm fine. I'm not breaking any laws here. Right, we're going off towards this hole again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, got yous. Okay, so that's the first part of the video done. This is John from John Hutton Golf Channel from Bransmith Golf Club. Hopefully you've enjoyed part one. So I'll put my scores in, that was a seven and a five. Just so I know the situation that I'm in before I leave you. So the situation is... It's not going to be a good one, by the way. 7 and 5. 6, 11 and 15. 15, 21. 21, 28. 33 through 6. It's not a good situation, 33 through 6, to be honest. I would have liked to be a lot better than that. 2 and 12A. 2 and... So it must be 12 and 12B to 12A. So it must be, they've got a winter hole somewhere and I've totally, I've even missed it out or I haven't seen it or there's something gone on there. 2 or 12A, 12B or 12. Okay, well it must be that when I come to the 12th that I play the second, it must be that. But um, we'll see. Anyway, this is John from John Hunt and Golf Channel. That's the end of part one. See you later. Bye for now. Bye.